Hi, Johan. Thanks for speaking with us. Back in action now after the World Cup. 3-0 at Queen's Park Rangers, 3-1 against Middlesbrough. How do you think it's gone so far? Yeah, obviously really well. Uh, six points uh, after a bit of a break. Uh, seems like it's uh, done well for us, the break. Uh, obviously come back fresh. We had a few days off. Uh, so yeah, just really positive and uh, now it's halfway through the season and we just want to carry on and carry on being the number one in the table. And a superb free kick at Loftus Road, tell us about that. Yeah, it was good. I mean, I think the story's been out already. I mean, it was it was quite funny. I took one in the in the training day before and he showed in the, in the clips uh, of uh, the morning of the game uh, and he said we need to start scoring in games as well from them. So uh, yeah, it was, it was good that it went in and... Uh, yeah, it was about time I scored from from a free kick. To be fair, and celebrating with the manager in the bench. Yeah, uh, just because of obviously what, what, what the clip he showed and, and told me I need, needed to start scoring from them, and yeah, just as well the togetherness of the team. Everybody's in this together, and uh, that's the main part. Manchester United away, Carabao Cup on Wednesday night. That's a massive tie. Every player wants to play at Old Trafford. Yeah, yeah, uh, definitely. I mean, that's uh, one of the stadiums, one of the big, big stadiums you want to play in. Uh, luckily, me and a few others have have done it a few times, uh, got good results uh, as well there. So, hopefully, we'll do the same on Wednesday. Uh, they won't probably have their best team, uh, and uh, hopefully, we can uh, capitalise on that. Yeah, you said it. Burnley have got a decent record there: one win, three draws. Uh, you've played there. Uh, you, you can go into the game with a bit of confidence. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we it's a it's a cup game. Everything can happen. Uh, we go go into the game confident. Uh, they obviously their first competitive game uh, since the break. So uh, yeah, we go in there and uh, and try definitely to to get a good result and and go through to the next round. The Premier League hasn't returned to action yet, as you mentioned. Does, does that give Burnley a bit of an advantage? Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, I mean, we've been in two competitive game. They've been playing friendlies for. Always, uh, yeah, it's not the same to play friendlies for sure. So uh, hopefully we can uh, use that to our advantage. All the eyes have been on the World Cup. The final was yesterday, but but you've won a trophy yourself, the oldest uh, trophy in European football. Is it? Yeah. yeah tell <laughs> us about that. <laughs> no, I mean it was just uh, it, was, it was called the Baltic Cup. I mean, uh, yeah, I was just good to be back. I haven't been in the national team for a long time. Uh, uh, my body feels feels good at the moment, so I decided to go back. And uh, yeah, it was it was good games. Uh, not the biggest trophy in the world, but a trophy nevertheless. It was a win on penalties as well. Yeah, win on penalties as well. So I think I think the World Cup got a bit more views than we did. But hey, it's a trophy. <laughs> Thanks, Johan. Good no luck on Wednesday. Thank you. Yeah, uh, Johan. Look, just sort of picking up on what you were saying there. You've come back from a break how difficult is it for a team to come back from a break after playing for not uh, for not very long yeah it can be difficult to get in the rhythm uh, I mean uh, to be fair we were quite sharp against the uh, Queen's Park Rangers so I think it just depends on the team uh, what they've been doing and uh, and so forth and so on so yeah it'll be it'll be interesting to see how, how many you come out against us uh, we are obviously full of confidence uh, played two competitive game and, and they played friendlies as I said before it's, it's a bit different so yeah but still it's Manchester United it's a, it's a massive team with uh, with great players so we need to definitely be our yeah on our top game if we want to go through the next round you say you're full of confidence obviously the results have been fantastic but what is it that's given you so much confidence to have such attacking flair and entertaining so many around the country uh, I mean, it's it's uh, obviously the manager. He puts in a lot, a lot of work uh, analyzing the opposition, and on the training pitch, we put a lot of work on the training pitch on how we want to play. Uh, and yeah, you you can see on the team from the first game to the game now that how much we've progressed, uh, and we've definitely done that. Uh, different systems we play in games, uh, we can adapt to what other teams are doing to us as well. So. Yeah, it's just a lot of work, a lot of meetings, uh, and yeah. But to be successful, that uh, you you got to put in the work. Is there a buzz around the place then? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, first in the league, uh, a lot of wins uh, this season. So yeah, obviously it's a it's a lot of buzz, and everybody's enjoying the ride. Hi, Evan. 
I think you mentioned before you're halfway through the season now. It couldn't really have gone much better for, for Burnley, could it? If you'd been offered this position in, in July when the season started, you just snapped our hand off. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, to be number one and I think eight points clear of, of third place is obviously a fantastic position, but there's a lot of games to be played. We know that. Uh, but as long as we are improving as a team uh, and we still are, I think we, we're only going to get better. Uh, so that's that's the most important thing. And and we'll see a come end of the season where we're going to stand in the table. But I'm pretty confident in confident in this team that if we carry on the path that we are at the moment, that uh, yeah, it's going to be a positive ending. How much are you enjoying your football at the moment? And I guess results will obviously help. Playing obviously helps as well. But how much are you uh, you enjoying? Yeah, things? enjoying it. Uh, it's obviously different to to what has been. Uh, with Burnley, but same, it's, it's not it's not the same league. It's it's a different league. So, yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying just as I said before. I mean, uh, yeah, it's been a few tough years for me, and just to be on the pitch as much as possible, to be training as much as possible is uh, it's a privilege for me, and uh, I'm enjoying it. Does it has it made you sort of enjoy you know realize where you are a little bit more having had a couple of frustrating seasons with injury and just. I guess enjoy things more than, than yeah, definitely. Would have been uh, as a young uh, I'm not getting any younger either, so <laughs> yeah. I just want to enjoy as much as possible to be on the pitch and and help the team, and that's what I've been trying to do and and, and been doing. Uh, and obviously, when we are winning games, it, it helps as well. And are you feeling? You mentioned before you your sort of body's feeling good. You've gone back to play for Iceland as well. Are you sort of feeling as? as confident as you can be in your in your body at the moment given yeah definitely I've, I've been feeling really good uh, the work behind the scenes uh, the work with the staff have been been fantastic in helping me gain back to my levels the levels I know I can be and uh, I know I still got uh, I still got a few levels to go I think uh, been out for, for, for quite a time and just to get into the rhythm and, and, and getting to know how we want to play and all that. As I said, the, the team is involving and uh, and we as players are involving as well. And that's why I say I think we're only going to get better. How how hard a period was it when you were, you were obviously sidelined and you, you picked up and you know, you get an injury and you come back and then you get maybe a little setback mm. or a little niggle? How difficult is that for for a footballer because every footballer doesn't want to be injured no be it's, injured it's extremely difficult and especially when you uh, get uh, maybe a, a injury and you come back and you get another injury and uh, it just yeah it's, it's a tough circle to be in and uh, I've worked hard to get out of that um, obviously the big one one when, when I had my I had to go for a surgery um, what was it called I had uh, Yes, that's it. And then I came back and and done my calf really badly. That was that was extremely tough to take. And yeah, mentally it's 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 really tough. Uh, I mean, footballers, you just want to be on the pitch. You want to be injury free and and free in your head to play football. And I I wasn't able to do that for quite a long time. So yeah, that was tough. What was there a point where you thought you might not get back a hundred percent? No, 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 no. I don't think so. I mean, uh, I'm quite quite. Yeah, strong in my in my mental side. I mean, uh, some people might have struggled more than me, but uh, yeah, I've got a good family behind me that helped me a lot. And uh, yeah, I just thought I could definitely come back and 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 be at my best level, which I think I still not reached yet. And hopefully, I'll get there. But yeah, everything at the moment is is going in the right direction. Obviously, Man United coming up on on Wednesday, opportunity to play a Premier League team. Um, how sort of how much are you looking forward to to perhaps? showing people who don't watch the championship just what what Burnley are made of now yeah I mean we want to go out there and 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 uh, try to get to the next round we know Manchester United is a, is a massive team with with great players but we also believe in our qualities and uh, we are definitely going to go there and, and and show the people that uh, yeah we are the real deal last one for me I think your, your contract's up in the in the summer how do you sort of assess the the future going forward you'd like to stay at Burnley if, if at all possible yeah I've got other people who deal with that <laughs> at the moment I'm just yeah enjoying my football stay on the pitch and everything else will take care of itself I think so yeah just as I said just enjoy being on the pitch and uh, other people will sort that out for me nice one thanks yeah man all no the best worries. for Wednesday <laughs>